secret room hidden beneath basement reveals astonishing piece of history It's amazing what can lurk in a secret room beneath your basement all the years you lived there yet You never knew that's what happened to Alexandra Poulos whose parents purchased the home She was born in back in 1974 from the outside and even from the inside it looked like any normal Pennsylvania home but this Lansdowne property was hiding an age-old secret one entrenched in history and tradition The house located in Lansdowne, Pennsylvania is a grand white colonial style structure the perfect place to raise a young family But what's this hole in the basement floor? As you can see the house is grand, but nothing unique for the area. It's in little did the family know what else was there no one can know for sure whether it's connected or not. However, Alexandra told reporters that she grew up having strange dreams in the house. I would have random dreams about there being other rooms in the house. I'd look it up on dream meaning sites and people always thought I just had a crazy imagination, she said. Sadly, Alexandra's mom passed away in 2008 and just seven months later, her brother also tragically died. At the time, Alexandra persuaded her father to sign the property in her name, which he did. Even though most folks told Alexandra to sell the house she refused as there was a lot of sentimental value for her there as She told reporters my mom and brother. They were still there to me as Alexandra was living in property elsewhere She rented the family home out to some new tenants and everything seemed to be going well at first as With many houses of this age. It wasn't long before issues started and the home improvements needed to begin a cracked sewer pipe in the basement was the start of the problems as well as her tenants as Soon as the work started in the basement Alexandra recalled some weird stories that an old neighbor used to tell her dad She told my dad, you know, there's a basement under your basement She said but my dad just thought that she was crazy or whatever Alexandra's interest was sparked when she did some research into the history of the area she found out that a house just a few minutes away from hers had some connection or other with the Underground Railroad Which consisted of a network of covert routes and safe hiding places using the abolitionists to smuggle slaves to freedom across the US in the 19th century While carrying out the badly needed repairs to her basement Alexandra was shocked to discover that her house had more to do with the Underground Railroad than she had ever imagined Alexandra's suspicions were confirmed when she got her contractors to reveal the space beneath her basement But what was the significance of this room if any? Many Americans would rather forget history in terms of the slave trade of black people back in the first half of the 19th century This man Levi coffin a well-known Quaker from North Carolina Did a lot in his day to help the plight of the enslaved people who were smuggled through underground networks he worked closely with people like Harriet Tubman who also helped end slavery There was an elaborate escape route for slaves which came to be known simply as the Underground Railroad Many have speculated that the tunnels were not only used to traffic slaves, but also to save them But what does Alexandra's house have to do with it if anything? a quick history lesson while Pennsylvania has always historically been a free state the Fugitive Slave Act Technically required officials and citizens to assist slaveholders attempting to recapture runaway slaves Alexandra might not want to believe that her house has something to do with the Underground Railroad, but not so fast Historians like Rachel Molishok from the Historical Society of Pennsylvania said it could simply be a hidden room used to hide valuables other commentators as well as historians also refute the grand claims about the Underground Railroad They said that it would have been far too expensive to build such a network at the time Molishok told the press that Alexandra's house may have had something to do with the notorious Underground Railroad The region in general historically has been known as an abolitionist sympathizer area The only way to really follow up on that would be to research who the owners were in the past and follow up on property records to see if there were people who were known to be vocal abolitionists, then you can make inferences. Alexandra still hopes and believes she can prove the connection between her home and the Underground Railroad, but only time will tell if she manages to turn those hopes into a reality.